Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich looking at a beautiful, tasty, delicious Ching China. Now, uh, before we get too far, I want to talk about some of the comments and the future of this campaign. So, first of all, I'll address the comments. Uh, most notably, whether or not we should integrate Mongolia. So right now, this is our faction. Now, my favorite color is blue, so I'm really liking this. Overall... I don't believe I will ever integrate Korea. I probably won't. However, I will integrate Mongolia in time. Just because it's quite literally called Outer Mongolia in China, or at least, you know, something like that. So, I will integrate Mongolia. I will have to, you know, lower their autonomy down and probably use console commands to integrate them. Totally cool with that. No problems about that. Cool. Um, however, we will go to war with Southeast Asia, and I will puppet almost all of this. You know, of course, I will give the Entente, even though we're enemies with them. Their dues, as you can tell, I've already decided to put some divisions over there because, well, we're at war. Uh, because they're imperialists, you know, greedy, terrible people. Regardless, when we go to war with the Southeast Asians and we win, I will puppet all these nations, except I learned from one of my subscribers that back in the day, like, we're talking like 2,000 years ago, more than 2,000 years ago, China used to own a little bit of the parts called Tonkin, or I guess in English it's Tonkin and Dongbak, as well as, like, literally half of this state called Annam. So, I'm gonna leave this to, you know, an Indo-Chinese puppet, even though I'd like to take half of it. It's not how the game works. I'll just take Tonkin and Dongbak. But actually, I didn't know, apparently it was in the Tang Dynasty, they owned this part of Vietnam. Totally cool. We have justifiable claims on them. We are, of course, at war with Japan still. Whatever. I don't care. I mean, they're probably not going to be able to invade us. And if they do, we'll, we'll probably be able to push them back. I mean, I mean, we have six divisions up here. They're trying really, really hard, but uh, they're not doing so well against us. We've lost 4,000 to their 37,000. Pretty good so far. We're making even more and more and more Coast Guards, using a lot of Korean boys, great Koreans. Um, so that's pretty much the scope of the campaign right now. We will go to finish out India someday, but the goal is for, for us to currently make the biggest Air Force we can possibly make. We need aluminum. We need planes, because that's how we're going to win in these mountains. You just don't you know, stack a bunch of divisions over here and try to push into other enemy mountains. It's not going to work. So, an air force is going to be key, key, key. Also, uh, when we finish off the war with Japan, which will not end the, in this episode, or even the next episode probably, it's going to take a while first for us to develop a really good air force, and at least an okayish navy, so we can bomb the hell out of the Japanese navy. Um, but when that happens, I will take these islands, the Sakhalin Islands. Uh, but, you know, thanks to the subscribers for t letting me know. Hey, i got a border with the Entente up here, so, good to know. And I will... It, probably take Bhutan, because I think they had claims on some mountains up here that belong to Tibet, but Tibet doesn't exist anymore. They're really Chinese, so. Hmm, colony state. Sounds like they need to be more integrated, which will happen in time. I will integrate more. I just hope that with this integration, we should get more manpower, since they will become cores by doing these decisions. I mean, there's a lot of decisions to take, but hopefully we will get more manpower since I'm looking at that. Other than that, I mean, we're doing really well in supplies except for naval bombers. And that's totally okay. We just, we just started barely making them in uh, the end there. So, Other than that, let's let time go on. Let the Japanese continue to try to invade us and fail every single time. If we're strong enough, I might even consider invading the islands myself. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, go ahead and hold for now. Attacking over water is never a good idea. Well... Usually never a good idea. The Central American Confederation was Mexican. Oh, hello, Chile. You're in the middle of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, n n uh, no. Uh, yeah, Bolivia. Yeah. Chile. Yeah, guys. Oh. I would have honestly preferred Mexico if you just annex this. It makes so much more sense. But, um, they're in the Entente. Mexico's in the Entente, so we might be at war with them. Ooh. So we got another division, good, because actually I pulled off like 10 divisions. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's so not good. Um, you know what? Immediately send three of you guys over here. Go ahead and move that direction. Um, send half of you. 
up here. We're going to lose a little bit of territory. That's kind of okay, actually. We will be able to integrate this in time and get a bonus to defend on our own territory. So, uh, I guess that was really my fault for not realizing I had a border with him immediately. So, I will take some of that. I will take the blame for that. Rubber. Thank you. Keep building, though, guys. More rubber, more fuel, more civilian factories, and more air bases because we got to bomb the hell out of these god dang Burmese people. These radical socialists. Evil radical socialists. We have China united, though. We got another research slot. Yes, yes. More stability, too. Good. Now we're pretty much done with our focus tree. Um, I'm not going to ever breach those dams because that would be pointless. I could suppress my subjects. Um, suppressing subjects isn't bad. What I could really, really, really use is construction engineering, maybe? Because I do want to build up more infrastructure in time. Air bases are okay. Radar stations, eh, I like those, but they don't really help build anything else. Naval production could be really good. It d this did change, though, a little bit. Naval equipment refitting speed and cost both go up and down. Ship repair speed goes up. We can produce ships faster, but what about air production? We can produce more naval bombers faster and produce more planes. I think that is ideal right now. That would be great. And we have this other fifth research slot. Yes, we can catch up and we actually need to make better guns. Good. 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 We have our divisions here. Uh, we are trying to make some air bases in Dali. Got some uh, tactical bombers here I have placed. You guys can hold on. Don't use up any more fuel for now. Into tactical bombers. They're interwar bombers. Yeah, I know. They aren't. They aren't bueno. Um, uh, cool. Oh, there we go. We got take off one of you guys. Come over here and get over there as fast as possible. Oh, hello. Would you like a? Non-aggression pack? No. Silly guys. Oh, they actually invaded me. Um, well, take them out. Yeah. Oh, they're they're pretty darn weak. Holy cow, the Dominion of India. They have a lot of manpower, but other than that, yeah, they don't got much. Yeah, they'll, they'll come in. They'll spread in, you know, evil imperialists. Can't believe these colonized people even want to help the imperialists, but whatever. Oh, look how pathetic that is. Look how weak they are. Low, st low strength, relatively low manpower-ish, when we have no organization and we're still winning. Yeah, I know they're attacking over a river, but let me have this. Good, good. How many more days until we go to war with Burma? Oh, about three-ish months. That's not bad. Vietnam will be a little bit of a hassle to get into. I mean, once we have enough divisions, I will invade Russia. There's no question about it. I will invade Russia, but they're a little preoccupied. What's a strength? of Russia. Imperial glory. Oh, good! They're out of manpower! No wonder the offensive towards Berlin has slowed down. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Losses. Um, you know, I'll call them in. Because they're my puppets. They're rightfully my puppets. Japan, keep losing that. Uh, Dominion of India. You've lost 1.2 thousand. We'd kill 10,000 off. Beautiful. Keep getting me more manpower. You know what? If you can't win there... That's okay, just hold the line. Okay, or you're gonna abandon it. Okay. More divisions, good. Oh, five more divisions. I'm glad I did not tell these guys to do anything else yet. Throw you right there. You're gonna spread out appropriately where you need to be. This is dangerous. Do not get split off whatsoever. Or cut off, really. Good. And if you need a little bit more support, I will gladly throw you more support. Oh, we need more planes. Himalayas, well, we're gonna need to build some air bases here. And we're going to need to build some air, more air bases up there. That'll be fine. That'll be dandy. We got... Ooh, it looks like maybe one refinery already complete. Holy cow, that manpower is not good. Holy cow. It might just take me too long to integrate these provinces. How many people live in Macau or Qingdao or these former legation cities? Oh, that's not much. 600,000. 250,000. Um, Wei Highway. And, oh, I know this place doesn't have very much whatsoever. Oh, Macau. Yeah, that's not very much. Um, yeah, I think this is it. French-owned territory. That's not very much. We have 44,000. Does it go up any higher? That would be ideal if it did. 44,000. Please give me more manpower. We finished. We finished it. 
but um, I don't see a massive increase in manpower. Or at least, uh, like a thousand. Like, a thousand more men from all those states combined. Can I please have more manpower? That would be great. Oh, we're attacking, we're not winning. That's okay. Go ahead and hold. You're really here to maybe hold for now. As long as we're holding the line, that's probably the most important thing. We'll bomb the hell out of these guys later on. 0.55? Occup what occupations are there? Le no. Legation cities should already be integrated into my provinces. Uh, that's a case. Do this because I need more political power. Yeah, all that helps so much. Yeah, we might lose a, f a few factories. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um... Oh, they're actually attacking us, and they might be becoming a little bit more successful. That's alright. I'll move you up there, then. As long as they don't cross us straight, we should be okay. And they can't even pierce us, which is good. Uh, oh, they're t they're attacking us. Interesting. Interesting maneuver. Now, I don't want to necessarily attack them. Unless we start losing. Oh, we start losing. Okay, we're going to attack then. You guys are doing okay. Well, if they attack, can I, just, I can't go that way. So, I guess help them out. Grr. You don't need to attack, guys. Just hold on. Um, you can move down here. You know what? You probably both move down there. You both begin bombing. Sounds like we're getting navally invaded. Um, they're probably invading somewhere up here, which isn't ideal. But, I have you guys, so come on down here, guys. Come on, truck on down here, guys. Oh, oh, or they're just going to... Yeah, they invaded there. That's not ideal. So, uh, you guys aren't really strong, but... Lowering your amount... Oh, that's really not good. Lowering your amount of supplies, no matter what happens, is quite the optimal situation. Um, your attack... Uh, or guys that have low organization... That's pretty much expected. That's expected. Not really any worries up here. Um, hold on for now. Hold on. I guess we're redefeated. Four divisions. So be it. Uh, don't attack. It's a little crazy right now. Just let them in and blow them up when they come close. And I know we don't have air superiority over here. But uh, we need air superiority. <laughs> Get 200 guys on there now. We'll, get, we'll keep building that up, no worries. And then... A few more bombers, perhaps. Nice, it looks like we got a few more naval bombers we might be able to work with. Good. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's extremely bad. Oh, hello, trucks. How are you doing? Oh, I'm joined here with my cat, Binky. Oh, we gotta move in fast, because these guys cannot lose. You're, you have to hold no matter what. I cannot allow them a port. So you're going to have to kill these guys off. We've got that research slot. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's 1943. Happy 1943, everyone. Let's get a little bit more goods like that. Japan, you sent your men to die. I don't know why, but... So be it. Yeah, I need to raise my conscription level. I don't want to, but I kind of have to. Oh, yes, kick him out. Do not lose that tile. That'd be good. Good! You killed them all off. And Japan has lost. A lot more guys. Holy cow. That was pretty darn good. If I do say so myself. And you know what? Just in case. Put up two land forts there. It doesn't cost too much. Just enough. Just enough for us. Um, I will go to... Oh, we actually have a little bit more manpower now. Nice. Maybe the, this stuff actually worked. But it's not enough. I need more than just that, though. I definitely need more than that. Uh, disperse industry. Good. Keep producing stuff. We're, we have a surplus of naval bombers, which is quite ideal. Quite, quite ideal. Yeah, kill those enemy planes. Butcher them. Nice. You want more efficiency? Get another 100 in the air once we have enough manpower. You guys come over here, so you have better range all around here. And here... Um... Kind of aren't even coming over here. Okay, well, I will do whatever I need to do over there, then. Very good.
Uh, excavation. That'll be that'll come in handy quite a bit. Rubber. I could get quite a bit more rubber if I do this now. Are there any upgrades I need immediately? Artillery? Yeah, I kind of need artillery, though. Infantry? Hello there. You guys come over there. That'll be good. What are the resources we will get once we puppet these guys? Uh, a lot of tungsten and a little bit of rubber, a little bit of oil. Uh, that's pretty much it. A little bit of steel, perhaps. That's really, really nice. Rubber and steel is always great. Um, who's attacking? It looks like you're attacking. Go ahead and just stop. That'd be okay. We might be able to make it a tiny, tiny, tiny encirclement here. That's okay. It looks like these guys are out of equipment, really. Which is good to see. I mean, I'm out of equipment. By equipment, I mean manpower. You guys are holding on up there. That's good. It's just kind of waiting for now for our war justification to fire off so we can go to war with those guys. In the meantime, we're building ourselves up even stronger, which is quite, quite ideal. Who knows, maybe they'll just attack me because they want to. Uh-oh, the fall of Berlin, a great victory for the Russian Empire indeed. Oh, that's not good. The Third International is really not doing well. They're only winning because Germany is falling so badly. Even the French Republic has come in and is doing quite a number on the enemies. On their enemies, not my enemies, their enemies. Naval Bomber 2 is 1943. Could get tech better tactical bombers. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. Uh, let's get some more fuel. We definitely need more fuel because we're going to use a ton of planes. Now, if Russia were to declare war on us now, that would not be quite ideal. There we go. I don't necessarily want to go to war yet. I want to at least wait a day. I have to do this first. I just have to do it. I need more that manpower. Because even though we're on total mobilization, so that's why we don't have a ton. Oh, hello! Are you coming to invade me? Good luck with that. And even if you land, you're going to get pushed out immediately. Oh, what a sad day. Are you... 22 combat width? I don't remember making you 22 combat width. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I made you slightly too large. You're too much of a chunky boy. Uh oh, they invaded Korea. Hmm, you know, I'm going to keep on 22 combat width, because I don't really care. Uh, you guys... I guess I'll send all of you to Korea. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're going to get pushed out eventually, so... And even Korea's guarding Korea. Good job, Korea. Any other attacks? Anything else I should really be worried about? Not really. Give me at least a little bit more manpower before I go to war with these guys. And assert rightful Chinese dominance over continental Asia. Alright, how much manpower do we need in reserves? Holy cow. 0 0.012 mobilization speed per day. That's so low. We should also maybe begin thinking about tanks. That might be quite good to think about. We have the army XP for it. Definitely logistics. Get some recon. Engineers. We have the army XP for now. We might as well do that. And we do have that fifth re research slot. Oh, god dang, guys. How much manpower do we need for reserves? Oh my gosh. We need a ton of manpower. Look at that. That's a lot of manpower. I didn't realize we needed so much. Oh, there's 42,000. That's good enough for me. Um. Oh, nice. We built up this airbase quite nicely. And we can actually get some guys out here. Um, Just do our territory for now. That'd probably be the best thing to do. You guys doing a great job. If we were to attack here, we could potentially win. Maybe... I mean, we do have air superiority, and we are bombing them. Yep, we will slowly, slowly win. We're doing just a minor amount of damage. Good. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Let's go to war with these guys. Our lines should be able to hold. We are defending in hills. A little bit in planes. We should have a little bit of air superiority here. Not too worried about that, but we'll see. Do they immediately begin attacking us? Yes, they do in Burma. Now, uh, yeah, you guys can get called in. How many divisions are we getting attacked by? 23 up there, and then 16 down there. Uh, and how many... 10 versus our 3. Yeah, that's okay, so that's totally okay. Totally okay. Good. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. 
Indians want to invade us. The Burmese want to invade us. The Indians, other Indians, not those Indians, but these Indians want to invade us. Uh, Germany isn't feeling very well because they lost Berlin. Liu Mengang is an infantry expert at almost level 4. And we've repelled every single attack from Japan so far. Beautiful. Oh! And we have better naval bombers. Mm, at 1943, we'll, we'll be in 1944 soon enough, and I will get better naval bombers from there. Now, as we get a little tiny, tiny amount of political power, let's go ahead and integrate Qinghai. No, not Qinghai. Let's do something more in the interior so it gives us more manpower. 3.23? Yes, please. Ah, uh, they're trying to defend that. India, the Indian Empire. Yes, we shall gladly accept a non aggression pact from you, as well as Tra Travancore Cochin. Absolutely. Level 4, General, you are great. Surprise, Indo Chinese have not done anything against us. They have quite a few divisions. They are not at war with us, though. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Burma. You have good you got a good amount of manpower. Not a ton of divisions, and that's okay. Um Is this unoccupied? And that seems a little risky for you guys, especially if you were to be maybe cut off, perhaps. Ah yes, Madras State, yes. We should have an alliance maybe someday, perhaps. How is the Reichs Pact doing? They're holding on still. They're still holding on. I'm worried that the Third International won't win or defeat the Germans before they get capitulated by the Entente. But how strong are these guys? They can't be that strong. That's a lot of manpower for being a French Republic in Africa. That's a lot of manpower. That seems almost like too much in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, Canada has quite a bit as well. The coming to France has... Okay, that makes sense. They have none. No wonder they're losing. The Union of Britain is... Well, they got some, led by Horner. Germany still has quite a bit. Of course, Russia has none. Austria still is in game with no manpower, and Greece has none. This is one hell of a killer timeline. Holy cow. Oh, but you're going to get a lot of XP. Good. Good. Uh, my source state. Yeah, my source state. Yeah, totally, buddy. Totally. Beautiful. Ooh, actually, can we make... Could we invade northern India from here? I think so. Keep you guys in place. Immediately come down this way. Uh, well, if you can. Good. Ah, more defense? Yes, let's get some more defense. That'd be great. Good, good. We're making so many guns a day. Probably too many guns. We can probably switch it over to maybe a few more of these bad boys. We got just enough steel at the moment. I need more... Naval XP. I really need more naval XP. Um, get some heavy batteries. That's five? Oh my goodness. I don't want to make these ships because they're so bad. They're so bad. I mean, level four cannon isn't bad. The armor isn't great. So I I'm going to have to start making them because it's getting too late for me to not make them yet. And I should have deployed them in, like, Port Arthur. That's probably probably a good place to put them. You know, I just scrap you. Um, go ahead and make two, I guess. I probably won't be able to make them actually, really, for a very very long time at least. That'll be okay. I am out of steel now. That's really not ideal. So, Metal Africa, you're still alive somehow. Great. Um, we have plenty of civilian factories for me to build some more civilian factories so we can trade them away. What was known as the Fangqing government is now pretty well developed. Some might say even more developed than proper Qing China. Um, give me just a little bit more fuel as well. Good. Oh, wait, what was that? Uh-oh, what was happened? Netherlands? Oh, the Netherlands and the Reichspact has capitulated. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, next up, we're going to continue integrating provinces, but before we do that, political power construction speed. Is there any military general we have? 
Oh, Dar Army XP gain? Yeah, we can switch him out now, finally. For less supply consumption, that'd be good, but do we get... I would... Oh, wait, hold on. Navy stuff. I'm looking at... That's the Army stuff. Naval AA... Dang it, there's nothing that gives me more Army XP. Or na ar Naval XP, I mean. Naval XP is really important when you want to customize your ships. Really, really important. But we do with what we have. Good. Oh, look at those skills he's starting to get better at. Uh, how's this coming along? All right, well, you know, if they don't want to guard their tiles, I'm not going to say that they should. And send you three down here, maybe. Can you beat these guys up? Oh, actually, before we forget... Um... Nope. You guys come here. You help out in the Himalayas. This is good. Bring him into the fold so we can blow them up. Uh, how many guys have they lost? Well, we've killed 6,000 of these guys. We've killed a quarter million because AI is very AI-like. Korea's killed quite a few Japanese. Nice. Are they, are they still trying to invade me? Oh, holy cow. Yeah, they are. Holy crud. Holy crud. Yeah, you guys just come here. Yeah, guys? Japan? I know you want to feel like you're the dominant power here, but, uh... Your age, your run, your reign of terror, it's over. You lost. And you know what? You're going to lose so much, you're going to lose your independence eventually. Because we're still making a lot of these uh, transport planes. You know, that, that that's make, makes me question. We need to research more stuff so we can get some paratroopers. Because we are building up naval bombers, and that's going to be so important for what we're, what we're going to need. What we're going to do. Super, super, super important. You guys are doing a great job. They left northern India completely... Not completely undefended, but... Undefended so much that we should have success attacking them. Now, I will attack more once the Union of Burma just finally exhausts itself, but we'll see what happens. Good job, Korea. Good job. Anything else here before I do more integration? No? Awesome. I want some of these bigger states, but we'll do... Qinghai is... That's how you pronounce it. That's... Um... Oh, is it somewhere else? Here, let me close out of this. Oh, it's up here! Qinghai. Uh, that's not a lot of manpower. Oh, how about down here? Oh, yeah, let's do that one. With this, this, yeah, this one. Good. Ooh! Someone doesn't want to give me my goods. Middle, oh, Middle Africa. Please. You disappoint me so much. No wonder the Germans are losing. They're all just big disappointments. They can talk a big game, but they can't actually bring their firepower. Pathetic. I didn't realize I was going to attack. I was going to attack India so much. You know what? If you can, just push. Now, these guys probably won't be able to push very well. Oh, but maybe they will. India, what's wrong with you? You probably sent most of your divisions to help take out the Bharatiya Commune, which we are probably fighting as well. That's a big old Ottoman Empire. I, do they want a non-aggression pact? I would love a non-aggression pact. No, they want to be aggressive. Okay. Yep, there goes Japan. They're trying to invade us again, again, and again. Japan. Um, this is going to call for you guys to move here. Not bad. Uh, I need you to defend a little bit stronger. If you can, stall them just a little bit. Just stall them if you can at all. Don't lose that tile. Send those divisions in there. That'd be really bad if we lost that tile. Come on. No, 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 no. We lost it. Oh, we actually defeated the enemy there. God dang it. Construction 5. That's good. We need more fuel. We need more rubber. Oh. Um, I think I went with the left recently. Let's go to the right one. Streamline line. I want you to invade. Can you guys actually win here? You don't have air superiority, so... Actually... Yeah, this is why we need more fuel. We're gonna do Burma. Oh, look at those naval bombers. That's so good. We gotta start using them soon. Do that. That'd be great. Um, actually, deploy some planes here. 
a hundred of you guys, and then two hundred naval bombers over here. Good. Yellow Sea? Have at thee. Where, where are... Guys, where are army? I'm like, yeah, you're over here, but... Uh, if you can take them out, that'd be... Oh, they're busy. At oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold that jolly old Saint Nick. I don't know why I said that. It's encirclement. No. 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 You should. You killed him too fast. You killed him too fast, man. Kill him slower. Kill him slower. Oh, Austria. No, Austria, you were so faithful. But, hello, Serbian Republic. I'm glad to meet you. Oh, yeah, we need to start building up more stuff. We've done really well. Um, I do want to leave some of these civilian factories on building infrastructure so that we can make even more factories faster. That's going to be very important. Uh, oh, actually, a lot of these tiles aren't even being built up with infrastructure. Which is kind of a big no-no in my book. I mean, it's not a super important thing as... I mean, we already have a lot that we can build. And whatever I won't need to build immediately, I will send up construction at the top, which will be fine. Good, 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 good. Just go ahead and build all this stuff. I mean, in time, we're going to build it anyways. Because China will have the most developed infrastructure and economy in the world by the time we're done here. So, oh, inclu include Mongo Mongolia. Yeah, actually, I already did a good... I already did... Or, Korea's already in the works, which is pretty good. Thinking ahead, thinking about my allies, my faithful, trusty allies. But in the meantime, continue to make more civilian factories so we don't lose out. Because I probably will lower myself from total mobilization just to war economy. I'll probably do that. Keep, keep the battle up. Keep them up. Good, we actually took a piece of their territory. Nice. Awesome. You guys are doing great against these jerks. These ignorants, I guess we'll call them. How many men have they lost? They've lost. 400,000. We've dispersed industry 5. That's pretty good. We could use more fuel because, uh, I know we, there's other stuff I could do as well. But we need more fuel because... Oh, naval... <gasps> Our first naval strike. It's didn't go great. We lost a plane, but we're getting more XP. Good, good. Um, what was I saying? We need... I mean, we're, we're fighting on all fronts, except for the north, northern border, which is good because I don't want to fight Russia yet. Ooh, divisions. Yes. Throw you to India. Because once India's done, like... The rest of Southeast Asia will be ours. Oh, good. We lost another guy. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, send in these guys. Yeah, no worries. I mean, we don't have the greatest naval bombers. In time, we will, though. In time, we will. Um, you guys, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, send one division from here. Top attack here. Take our lands back, please. Advance artillery. Up and Middle Africa is about to go kaboom. Love it. Oh my goodness, we need so much aluminum and other stuff now. And this is why I need to do that. And you know what? I'm actually probably going to get even more. Serbia, I hope you do well in your war. That's all I got to say. Um, Actually, from right now, for our air attacks... Oh, we're still fighting the Himalayas. That's okay. That's okay. We need more production on planes, though. We got plenty of planes on naval bombers, though. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> We're doing well on this. Need more... Uh, and frankly, frankly, we need to actually research, like, 1936 bombers. We're still using, like, 1920s bombers. Makes no sense, but keep expanding north. Actually, you were the reason why I wanted you to keep moving. So... Yeah. If you guys could, like, keep them there, that would be quite ideal. Actually, you're still in the Himalayas. Yeah, that's not, it's not, it's not working out quite ideal. Go ahead and stop attacking for now. How many men have we lost? 89,000, that's not bad, especially considering all the damage we've done to enemies so far. You're still getting attacked up here. Makes sense. Oh, uh, you're not bad. Yep, we're getting attacked somewhere else now. I'm not sure where, it doesn't matter. Mm, keep supporting the divisions in India. Because once we have enough divisions over here, which we actually should soon, um, I'll send all the divisions this way. 
and that'll be glorious. You just come right here. Oh, no, you're that same tile. That's okay. Gotta love when the AI doesn't even guard their own tiles. Makes no sense, but that's okay. Siam, no! They've definitely exhausted themselves here. Good. Get more... I don't... You don't have any planning? Alright, well... We're about to have a really fun time in Burma. A really, really fun time. I want to give these guys a little bit more planning, and then we'll try a general offensive, which we should be able to win. Because the AI is very, very smart in this game, and decided to continue to attack me until they were basically... Most of those divisions would be at half strength, so... Genius, guys. Genius. And actually... Um, over here, let's start throwing on fighters. Good. Good, good. I definitely need more bombers, though. At least a little bit. There you go. Very nice. Actually, do we have two divisions here? Two, two. We need more divisions over here. Where are these guys? They're coming in. That's good. Actually, for the infantry, deploy in Shigatse. Shigatse. Uh, Fawn has been injured. We didn't lose anybody this time, and we actually hit the enemy ships a little bit. Nice. Uh, who can't give me my goods? Korea. My lovely Korea. Come on, man. Oh, but the Swedish Commune's got a little goodness in them. Very nice, very nice. Aluminum. Anything else here? No. We can do more war propaganda, but we don't need it. Um, Ningzai. Ningzia. Ningzia. Oh, yes. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we actually sunk our first enemy ship. It's a pesky destroyer. No, it's not very modern, but it's an improved light ship. And we did very well with that. Good. Alright, good. Good, good, good. We've kind of stalled here because we can't really defend everywhere. And they've noticed that. They're attacking with five divisions against our one. So be it. Perhaps we might have overextended ourselves a little bit over here. That's okay. That's why I put the bombers here in the air support. They still have a ton of manpower. Alright, you guys have had more than enough time to prepare yourselves. I want you to go just kill everyone in Burma. Just go. Just go. Do whatever you can to bomb the heck out of them. That's not a lot of damage. I'd like to see more. But, you know, I must keep in line with the number of planes or bombers that we currently have, which isn't a lot. Yeah. You know, I would say force attack, but I don't have enough command power. We should be able to win, at least in some of these areas. We're not exactly winning, which is kind of disappointing, seeing as even though we have air superiority, but we are attacking into mountains, so... That does make sense quite a little bit. You know what? A general attack is not going to... Fulfill our needs. Oops. Please stop attacking. Stop attacking. We took quite a few losses. That's kind of disappointing. Um, do that next. But now they're attacking us, you know, with a counterattack, which is... Could be worse. They're still attacking up there. They're still attacking down here. It's fine. As long as we, get, we have enough divisions to hold the line. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. The Reich's Pact is dying. Oh, my goodness. Oh boy. Oh no. Germany, what's going on? Germany, are you going kaboom? Oh. Oh! There's a German government in exile down here, though. With Kyuku land. Oh, it's lagging hard. The Reichspack must have given up. And before Middle Africa exploded in 1943. Oh no. No. Finland was gone. The Netherlands, Poland, German Empire, Lithuania, Ukraine. That's not good. That puts us in a potential conflict with Russia. Hmm. This is not quite ideal, I would say. So, we need to make better bombers. Oh, and Sam feels like the conquest of Germany, the Kaiserreich has fallen. And the German Union has joined the Russian sphere. Oh my goodness. I will make a few military factories, though, since we could use them. Um, right there. Right there. And then we'll get another set going. One, two. Good. Oh wow, they're really still trying to attack us. Oh, um, that's actually not bad. That's actually really kind of nice. The Union of Hanover, that's kind of disgusting. Oh, but are we going to see a Russian Empire versus Third International Cold War? And the French Republic immediately declared war on Morocco. I guess that makes sense. Um, Belgium? 
Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, Belgium. The Dutch Revolution. Oh my goodness. That's not bad. That's actually not too bad. I... I don't like this, though, just because I think it should be... I don't like how split up Germany is. It does add to the lag, and I don't like that. I don't like this, but they're still at war, so that makes sense. Um, what I might do... What is this? The Rhineland-South German Union. I might just make the South German Union, like, the West Germany of this timeline, just because it helps reduce lag, and it might make them stronger against the Russian Republic, so... That... Uh-oh. Uh, why? Why? Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Come on, man. Oh, we sunk something. We sunk some convoys. Good. How's this going? Um, but regarding Burma, I will say this. We will have to do strategic attacks and let our guys, of course, get more, you know, resources first. We have plenty of supplies. We need more bombers. Um, that's why I'm trying to build up more military factories. I need more bombers. I need more supplies. Then again, what else is new? In every campaign, that's what we always need. Yeah, guys, the non-aggression effect sounds great after we sunk two more Japanese convoys. How many men have Japan lost? Half a million. They've tried, tried, and tried, and they've been unsuccessful every single time. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. Non-aggression effect sounds great this time of year. Now, what we would really, really want is for the Russians to go to war with the Germans. That would be quite ideal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I need these divisions to hightail it over here. Before I do it too harshly, you guys come to Lahore, and you guys come over here as well. That'll be important. Actually, I just didn't notice this. Push in there. And if we were to attack down here, we would have to be very, very strategic about it. Can you attack there? Yes, you can. Can you win? Yes, you can. So it's going to take me to manually micromanage uh, attacks into Burma. Now we're fighting Panama. No one cares about Panama. Oh my goodness, good. Good. And you know what I'm going to say next? We've got a good stockpile of Naval Bomber 1s. That can do quite a number on enemy ships. Another convoy was lost. Great job, guys. They're attacking us in India. So be it. I don't care. And for now, save one of you guys. Just so that if you get attacked, it'll be fine. Look at that. That's beautiful. Actually, how many pieces of artillery? We got a lot of artillery because our combat, our main combat divisions, they're still only... Um, oh, we're at war with the Dominion of India? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Um, oh, motorized. Yeah, you're, look, you're a very sexy motorized division. Yeah, they only have one thing of... Wait, what the heck? I need logistic companies. And field hospitals. They need artillery as well. Good. Good job, guys. Good job. And I will end the episode very soon. Oh, there's there was a huge fleet here. Bomb, 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 bomb. Go kaboom. Make them go kaboom. Please, please, please. Oh. Okay, so we're now at war with more of the Entente. Um, all right. Well, oh, my goodness. Um, I will let you know this. I might play this just a little bit off screen just so that we can kind of move a little bit more forward into the timeline. Um, oh, oh, crud. That's not good. Oh, my goodness. I need more motorized and support equipment now. Um, you know, whatever. Motorized, where are you? Uh, 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 am I not making any? Well, that's not a good thing. So yeah, I'll probably play this just a little bit off screen, just because it probably warrants it. We probably honestly need need, need me to, so we can keep going on with this. The story of the revival of the Qing Empire, and how it took out pesky imperialists. So, that's where I'm going to leave it for today, guys. What happened? Well, we went to war with the Southeast Asians, or at least Burma. We've been successful. We have not been successful in some areas. We've repelled every single Japanese attack. We saw the fall of Germany, and I'm probably going to unite all of Southern Germany. Oh, and the Third International is trying to attack Kaiser Karl while they're still losing against the Entente. The Entente really hates me for some reason. The Second American Civil War is almost finished with the Pacific States dying at the hands of Huey Longdong. And my goodness, this is one hell of a timeline. And then you know what? I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and if you did, perhaps leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow when I have progressed in this campaign just a little bit more. Guys, thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.